Hello, and welcome to this Mason Libraries tutorial on Leganto. In this example, you will learn how to upload your own resources to your reading list. We are going to look at Leganto in full screen to better view the tool. Select the Open in a New Tab icon on the top right of the screen. To populate our reading list, we're going to add a file we've saved on our computer by clicking on the Add Items button. A new panel should appear on the right-hand side of the screen. We are going to use the Create tab to add our citations. To create our citation, we're going to drag and drop our file into the box provided. Alternatively, you can click to browse your computer for the file. I'm going to upload a PDF, but you can also use this feature to upload other document types, audio files, videos, images, etc. Browse the drop down next to Type to explore all the upload options. Leganto will automatically attempt to scan the file and populate the title, author, and any other information it recognizes. This will not work for every PDF, so you may still need to enter the information. For our PDF, Leganto is able to find the title, author, type, and DOI. Fill in the remaining applicable empty boxes to complete the citation. For files you have authored, select the radio button next to This file is authored by me and does not require copyright clearance. Otherwise, select No Declaration, and the library will check the file for copyright compliance when you submit the list. There are additional input fields if needed under More Item Details. Lastly, we're going to double check that List is highlighted and select the section for this citation to live. The benefit of uploading files with this method is that users can view the file directly from Leganto. By default, files added through this method can only be downloaded and are not automatically embedded. We want students to be able to read the full text of the PDF we uploaded earlier. To embed a file, click on the record. Under Links and Availability, click on the three dots and select Embed on this page. Notice the full PDF is now displayed on the page. If we want to edit our citation later, we can do so by locating the item in our reading list and clicking on the three dots to the right of the title. On the top of the list, there is the option to edit item. Additional Leganto tutorials are available on the How Do I page on the library's website. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have other questions, please refer to the Leganto Information Guide. This guide is located at infoguides.gmu.edu. under Library Resources and Tools.